After exploring about how evolutionary biology can help us understand how living things have changed and adapted over time, here we can look how it can help us study how new species can arise. Here is an example. In a big forest, some animals get divided into two separate parts due to changes in the environment. One part has sweet fruits, while the other part has tough nuts. Over time, the animals in each part adapt to their specific food source by developing longer beaks or stronger jaws. These changes are caused by genetic variations that occur naturally. As the two groups continue to evolve separately, they become so different that they can no longer mate and produce fertile offspring. Eventually, they are considered different species that have evolved from a common ancestor, thanks to the geographic isolation and different environmental pressures they experience.